Hey guys, Dean Bo here. Welcome back to the channel. So yesterday we did a video showcasing how crappy the ship drop rates are now. Whether that's by design or by accident, it is what it is. I mean, it doesn't change the current situation, right? So what we're going to do today is we're going to go on our old pistol run. So that will be our B1, that will be a B2 weapon. So for long range, we have the Urban Eagle, which is going to add a scope to. And for short range, we got the uh, Advanced Shattering Max Shot here. So a decent, um, decent perks. So it's got Furious and Shattering, so very good. And, and Staggering as well, not bad. So definitely some nice rolls on that. Let's see what we can upgrade on it. So slap the long barrel there. Yeah, we'll put a laser, why not? Optic, we want short scope, please. Thank you, sir. Nothing else there we can change. Barrel, once again. Long barrel. Wait, what's the... Oh, you can make it recon laser. I was gonna say, like, that has native three lasers on it. Why, why would you <laughs> need a laser? Oh, so this is good for hip fire, but we're not really good, gonna be hip firing this, are we? Yeah, you know, what? We yeah, okay, whatever. Um, receiver, we can't really change anything else. We can't really change on it. All right, I think we are set. So what I recommend we start off by doing is let's go to a, another system like Hawking, for example, just so we can reset Hudgens there. Uh, we'll hop from planet to planet oh well there you go we just found ourselves an ecliptic claymore 3 okay no Ooh. <laughs> we just snatched it <laughs> <laughs> Pulled it out from from the the teeth of death. Holy moly, that was a close call, ladies and gentlemen. That was a very very close call. All right, battle suits on. Let's go to work. Mind you, the guys. I, I know exactly what the chat gonna say. They say, oh, it depends on your level. We're only level forty two, so we're not too high. We're not too low. And we've we already got right. We got, I can't remember, but this was between level 10 and 15 somewhere. So this was a Voyager 3, and that's the best ship you can get. We got that between 10 and 13. We got this like 10 levels ago. And we got this just recently as well. So I don't think levels really make much of a difference. Contrary to popular belief when the game released. I remember <laughs> once I released a video about the code being cracked. And then this guy went on to explain to people that how it's all like uh, level based. This other YouTuber, who I shall not mention, <laughs> kept saying, Oh, it's level based and this and that. And then in my like couple of videos later, I got an Autobahn 3 at like level 4. I kid you not, as soon as I jumped out of the simulator, I went into space <laughs> and I got an Autobahn 600 flux K ship. So it's all chance, ladies and gentlemen. It is all chance. I'm telling you from experience. All right. Yeah, we'll take that. Med pack, we'll take that. Um, cross wall, structural material, don't care about any of that. There should be another compartment here, right? Yeah, oh, that's, that's it. Gold, we don't need that. All right. Well, let's just go and clear that out. So this is definitely going to be the preferred method here, guys. Jumping from planet to planet is going to be your go-to like this is what you gotta do now to farm ships it works um not as good as the the, the safe scamming on planets even though that was an effort and a half to get it done but it worked um all right i think that's all done here this weapon absolutely slaps by the way especially close quarters uh let's just jump on add another claymore 3 to our collection um, ship. Okay, I'm in the wrong seat, it seems. My apologies. I wonder how different this is to the one that we already have. <clears throat> so 
So post patch, this is the method to go on about it. So we compare this one to this one. Is the exact same one, isn't it? Yeah, it's the exact same ship. Same reactor, same shields, same everything. It's not a bad looking ship. I, I don't mind it. Uh, I know this is like everyone's favorite. And, and rightfully so. I think it's a very, very good design. Not convoluted. Nice cockpit. It's just a nice ship. Decent cargo on it. All right. Um, Let's make this our home ship. And then we'll continue with our guide. Uh, I'm confident that if you do the same steps that we do here, you, you'll get ships. Okay, now that we locked in this baby, jump back into this bad boy. Now we can board it. So now we have three ships, guys. Um, we have three ships. Um, I already have one volunteer to do this one, and I got one volunteer to do this one. Once we get some more cash, uh, we can get another member of our community to do to do up a third ship. You can make it into anything you want and name it into anything you want as long as it's not offensive and we can uh, obviously keep it on YouTube. Just gonna repair that bad boy. Cool. Um, back here. Back here. All right, um, let's carry on with our mission and see what other ships we can find. So as things stand, in terms of value, and I'm only referring to value here, yeah, 500k up. So obviously you can't sell for 500k, but if you were to build this ship, it'll cost you 500k. So no, 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 don't board. Silly me, I get it. Silly me, silly me, silly me. Make home ship. Okay. Um, so that's fine. That's ship there. Let's go to Hawking 6B. Give it 10, 15 seconds. Hotel and Phalanx are not really that great. I, I wouldn't go for them. Not a fan, but if you're after, after smaller craft, by all means, you should go for it. Uh, let's go Hawking 6A. Looks like pirating just got a lot better in, um, <laughs> in Starfield, because that's all you can do there. Storm Rider? Nah, Settler Mule. Okay. Um, it seems a lot of high level ships are spawning now though, post update, so then yes, the finding ships on the ground has been nerfed, but it looks like in the high end systems you get high end ships now. Uh, so it's a legendary one, I don't really care for that. Okay, we carry on. Give it five to ten seconds, and then we should carry on. The water, governor, water. What are you up here? Ionic liquids. Okay, cool. Did I hear something? No, I did not. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go to this nice and blue planet here. I don't mind hawking, but I think Hudgens is the way to go. Okay, what do we have here? Autobahn two. We can we can steal the. You know what? Let's let's steal it. All we need is enough to do some field repairs to just get back to home dock. Buddy, uh, do we want an autobahn two? Do we want an autobahn two? Autobahn 3 sells for a lot, but not the Autobahn 2. Nah, we'll let him be. 
We shall let him be. We're a Claymore 3 Reacher already. Well, there you go. We could have had an Autobahn 2 if we wanted to as well. So I've got one of those, but Autobahn 3, which is the one higher up at level 4 before. It was freaking insane. And it's somewhere in my video library, so if you go through, you'll, you'll be able to find it. Absolutely bonkers. After I got torn to shreds saying <laughs> you can't get high level ships early on. Oh, it really made me giggle. Alright, one last rotation to the planet and the moon, and then we shall carry on. We shall carry on. Carry on my wayward son. No, slipstream. No, thank you. And last but not least, walking for a. Let's see what this last moon has for us and then we can carry on. Okay, give it 5 to 10 seconds, see if anyone wants to ambush. No, that's negative Ghost Rider. We'll go back to our favorite system. I'll take this as everyone's favorite system. It's just that good. Um, all right. Satellite. I don't really care for that. Oh, because it's a stupid quest. Ah, uh, whatever. I mean, that's another way to do it. It definitely is another way to do it if you're going about it, because that will summon ships. But that's very circumstantial because you have to get that quest. Um, we can definitely get ships here. If, but it kind of defeats the purpose. Mysterious Captain. This is gonna be a pointless chat. What ship does she have? It looks like a normal vessel. It looks like a normal vessel. We can't steal it though. But we can render her like. Yeah, we can render her immobile, but we won't be able to steal it. I've tried this many times. And there's nothing expensive about that ship, so I don't know what she's on about. I will reload, but check this out, right? See, you can't, you can't do anything. You can't board her, you can't do much. Anyways. We move? Anyways, that's an Autobahn 2 we could have had, and, and we got a Claymore 3, so... The problem is, these satellites are plagued in all the um, possibilities of random encounters, so I'm very limited to how many planets I can visit here. If, you didn't have, if I didn't have that quest, I'd be able to find a lot more encounters. So maybe we might have to stick with Hawking. Give it 5 to 10 seconds, usually is when you get jumped. Oh, Trader Atlas. That's a crappy ship, we don't care that about that. But it's still better than nothing, because if you land on the planet you get nothing. So this is definitely the, the, the method to the way to go guys. It's always been a method, but now it's a lot more viable than it used to. What do we have here? Sanctum Universum. These guys don't give you anything, so highly advise against it. Uh, 
is that Galbank? Nah. It is Galbank. Hmm. Yeah. It's just like a... Is that a ship? I mean, it's, this could be... It's profitable to hijack this, but... Uh, the Babylon is not a nice, nice ship. I don't recommend hijacking all these. They're not... They're not worth it. Okay, we'll move. If we compare this to safe scamming, by now I would have safe scammed at least 20, 30 times. Uh, that's a crappy ship as well. John Swiss. It looks really weird though. That is an odd looking ship. Oof, away they go. Okay. Next. Do you know who you can board though? And they can come in autobahns or voyages through? The guys that sell you fake insurance. Alright, um. Give it 5 to 10 seconds. Just one? Looks like one is all we get. Okay. Unlucky, but... It is what it is. We move. We just rotate clockwise. Alright. Five to ten seconds again. Nope, we got nothing. Oh, get used to it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the this is the new norm, the new reality. We got a hostile activity there. We can go and say hello. Ah, uh, but that's just legendary ship. Let's go down there. Five ten seconds. The 5 10 second rule of Starfield. <laughs> uh, left to right, right to left. Anyone gonna grace us with their presence? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. We shall carry on. That's ship. Yeah, it's the odds of... So you either get lucky, you get jumped by a Claymore 3, or you find a, an isolated Chimera 3, or a, or a Voyager, or a Vista, and that's that's your best bet, realistically. I mean... Yeah, it's... Uh, it's gonna have to bear with it until they sort it out. Yeah, one last drop, and then I think we're gonna go planet side. Test that out again, see if we can find any ships. And go from there. Uh, there's a mule. Transfer. Okay, not interested in that. Uh, let's drop about... Let's go ice. Ice, ice, baby. And game just crashed. Okay. Let's reboot this bad boy. I haven't had Starfield crash on me in a very, very, very long time. So that's very strange.
Got a sales a little bit annoying. Yeah. I guess he didn't like the ice ice baby. Let's just drop there. Don't you cry no more. Okay. Can we speed this up? Uh, let's get it out there and see what we can do. Got a little uh, trusty sniper rifle here. There's a gentleman named Clemenson, Temenson. He absolutely loves this Urban Eagle. If I say something bad about it, he's on to me. <laughs> I think it's Tim, Tim. Yeah, Tim. Love you, Tim. You're, 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 you're a great lad. <laughs> I know you love your urban legal eagles. It's a good, it's a good weapon, definitely. All jokes aside, it's a very, very, very solid weapon. Um. All right, we have a um. No planes inside. There's landing pad, but I don't think anything's gonna land. Maybe we'll climb on top and see if we can spot anything, but I, I doubt it. I doubt it that we're gonna be able to find anything here. Though a lot of people have been saying you can still find them landed on the planet, but that means you just can't safe scam it. That's that's all it is. All right, let's see how this baby performs in battle. It's got some good perks on it. With shattering, it would hit. Yeah, it hits. Oops. Man, my aim is really off for some reason today. Very solid this weapon, very very solid. Let's see what else they got for us. Ooh, he's running a max sheet, it seems. We hit him with that 2 billion IQ. Wait, 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 what? How did this guy drop this weapon? Berserk and Incendiary skip shot. Oh, Flo Banda will be like drooling looking at this. He loves Berserker. This is right up his alley. Um. <laughs> Was this guy elite? I can't remember, like... I just beamed him, like... I didn't pay attention to see if he was elite or not. Well, never mind, I mean, I'm, not, I'm not complaining. That was, that was a solid drop. Wow, well, maybe, maybe they did... They really did shake things up with this update, haven't they? Uh, sir? Don't be rude. Peek. Peek, young man. Ooh, I can hear someone potentially behind me, which does not bode well for me. Health insurance premium and all. Um, toxic gas. Kind of like me, toxic. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, just go straight in here. Computer. Open the doors. Thank you very much. I never, I almost never opened the doors here. Oh, let's just go up top first, see if any ship have landed. Now we can always go back down and see what we're left with here. Yeah, there's absolutely no can't break the glass here, it seems. Yeah. Almost thought I saw a dragon there for a second. My eyes are deceiving me. Dovakin, Dovakin, dun 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 dun. 
Um, no, no, no this, that's nothing, guys. This is perfect. If you see if there's any ships, there's just nothing. Okay, well, there you have it. So the new method, well not a new method, but the method I just showcased is it's not as reliable. We got lucky we got a claim on three, but you can go for a while without finding anything in it. That's a that's a it's a real kick in the gonads. Okay, level 43 apparently. Thank you, sir. Alrighty. Nothing says I love you like a max shot to the face. With some some shattering for the extra cherry on top. Duh. You know what? Hang on a second. I've never thrown a particle grenade. Where's where's my grenades? Uh da -da -da. Where's troubles? Yeah. Particle and grenade. There we have four. Let's throw one. How does it explode? Does it explode like normal? Oh, it's kind of purple. Well, that wasn't very healthy, was it? Time to play some angles here. Ooh. This gun absolutely slaps. Right now, Tim is like, I told you so, Dean Poe, I told you so. <laughs> yes, you did, good sir. Yes, you did. Uh, okay. It's got like. Oh, the, it's the bleeds, guys. It's the bleeds that are doing us dirty at the moment. Oh, is this a solid weapon? It's got like no recoil. It hits almost as hard as the Razorback. With like no drawbacks the Razor have. Uh, oh, hello. I would, would take it, I suppose. I'm not gonna say no. We're not gonna say no, we never look a gift horse in the mouth, do we? Check the boxes, because someone else was telling me to keep checking the boxes. Um, ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum, bum, bum, bum. Okay. I hope you guys don't mind, but I uh, need to sort of scoot a little bit. Oops. Oh, I'm so scared I'm running away. Said nobody out. Come on, come on. Hey. Yes, one hour, please. It's like this guy's like, oh, it's alright, Dimpo. We just wait for you for one hour. Okay, let's scan the area, mate. Scan it. Scan it real good. Dun, 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 dun. Bit of our salt and pepper. Ooh, that, that looks like a cool item if you could pick it up. Planet Data Console. What does this give me? I've never really um, opened this room before. I always just went straight past it. I've lost faith in those chests, but sometimes you get lucky. Might as well do it if you're here. Oh, hello. Hello. 
Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. They need to hurry up and bring that survival mode so we can get cooking. Get our way. Alrighty. Oh, someone's running a nut. Oh, the boss has a grenade one shot. Well, that, that, that doesn't bode very well for me now, does it? <laughs> well, this is definitely going to make things interesting. Yeah, I, I saw that coming miles away, but there's, I thought I stagger him. Hmm. Even if... <coughs> excuse me. Even if he bounces that off the wall, we were kind of like, kind of done. So, in order to avoid getting one tapped by Mr. Grenade Launcher, what I, recom I recommend. Did I just go in a circle? No, I did. Yeah, what I would recommend we do is punch a quick nap. And we came back where we started. Just quickly. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Come here. No! No! Oof. Damn, I, I've really lost my uh, sense of coordination lately. I just keep going in circles. Just ran back right into him. All I need is a bed, guys. Just a spare bed. I'm not asking for much. <laughs> um, well, we're not going to find it here. So I guess... Drop down. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Nope, oh, back in circles we go. Back in circles we go. Cut. There we go. Gotta aim at the pillow. Not not the whole bed, they just put the box in the pillow. Interesting. Alright. Now we are going to play to a different tune here, so Commandant, where is he? See, now that we're actually trying to look for him, we can't find him. Anything interesting here? No. Alright. Alright, I just gotta be careful here. I think the, the mag shot has a better chance to stagger though. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, bloody hell. <laughs> Alright. Man, that was intense, wasn't it? Okay. Ooh. What goes up has to come down. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Lacerate advanced negotiator. Eh, you know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> we'll take it for the collection. Uh, a negotiator doesn't hurt here and there. Anyways, guys. So, unfortunately, this is your new best. Well, not new, but you know what I mean. It is the best method now to farm ships. Like, you have to... Do it in space. It still spawns good ships, I can confirm, with the Voyager and all the other goodies that we got in, but it's not It's not as good as it used to be, that's 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 for sure. So if you want to get your hands on a on a good ship, you're gonna have to get yourself out here and play the numbers game, go from system to system, 
Hudgens is probably the best. Hawking is obviously good. You saw us get a Claymore 3. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. I know a lot of you guys are pissed off whether they did it intentionally or unintentionally. But that's the situation we find ourselves in. And until there is a remedy, I suggest you employ this method. It will give you probably the highest odds of getting something good. Now a lot of you guys will say, oh, what about Serpentus and whatnot? The the best you can get in Serpentus is the um they're called hymns? What, what are the what are the big Varun ships called? They they go up to three, they're C class reactors, but they look like a space biscuit. You know, like, you know the ice cream they sell, it's like squished between two biscuits. It looks like that. <laughs> but um no nah, Hudgens Hawking is good. Um What's also good is this one here. Archimedes. Right, let's give Archimedes one go. See if uh, the RNG gods favor us. That is a negative Ghost Rider. Uh, one more jump. Nine? Nope, nothing. Nothing. Let me give it a few more seconds. I find um, the Starborn spaceships are really good for random encounters, at least they used to be back in the day. I made a guide on it a very long time ago. I don't know if anything's changed since. Probably a lot of updates happened since, so maybe something's changed, but. but what is this uh, piece of trash? Etc. Settler Mule. Uh, we're getting ships, just not the the ones that we want. That's the issue here. You see Voyager. Oh, unlucky, but we're still gonna take it. So that's still a class C reactor. Yeah, so that's still a Voyager, so... You know what? What the hell? That, that's just, I've never seen a Voyager 1. I've only seen the 2 and 3, so... I just want to see how much worse off the... The 1 is compared to the 3. It will definitely be worse off compared to a 3, but let's see in which regards. It seems to have the same engines. The reactor's not going to be as good. Okay, that's bought it. Oh, I made a boo-boo. I made a boo-boo. That's alright, it doesn't matter. Oh, boy. It's zero gravity. You can go silenced and get no uh, bounty. I'm going to do this fast you, see, you would have seen how we got the Chimera with zero bounty um, but for the interest of time I'm not gonna go silent and reload every time I incur a bounty I'm just gonna go smack these guys up what's in here chameleon advanced ecliptic space so he has some some credits but all we're interested in is just to see how much worse off this ship is compared to my other one so my ship will be comparable to this because I haven't touched anything besides the weapons on it and I've changed the aesthetics slightly but I wouldn't have changed the reactor because right now we're in level 15 and you don't get the good stuff at level 50 the good stuff I think after like level 50 or something everything unlocks let's smack him square in the mouth Oh, uh, last but not least. Last but not least. Where'd you go, friend? Must be on top. Yeah, I think it's about me. That's fine. Oh, it's two now? Okay. What else? Same, same to me. 
Well, we cannot go there, so it's definitely not on that level. God, this ship is just necessarily large. It's got cap like it's got like two cafeterias in it. What are you, what are you gonna do with two cafeterias? I don't have that many friends. Dun dun dun. Just a quick bounce up here. Okay, that must be in this compartment here. At least uh, firing a, a handgun doesn't push you back. Oh, there's one more. We know for a fact there's one. No, no, there's no more. Alright, no more. This is it. Ship is ours. Let's do a direct comparison and see which ship is best. I mean, we know which ship is best, but just see how much of a downgrade this is. And how much is it worth? Like, so mine was worth 650 when I first picked it up. Oh, wow, it's half the value, dude. Holy moly, it's got this ugly orange paint job. So mine had the red red paint job. Obviously had better weapons on it. So it's got poo poo shields. Let's, let's just compare it here. So that's a UC Voyager 3. Don't mind this, I've changed a little bit of the aesthetics here, I've added some guns obviously. But for more or the less, see, I've changed the nose on it, I've changed the weapons on it, and I've added like this bracket there. And I've added two more engines, or like one on each side. This is essentially the same template, right? So this is about 340k, this was 650. And I've removed some stuff on it, the rocket launcher, so now it's worth a little bit less. This was the most expensive ship when I got it. So, same landing gear, same engines. Are the engines the same? Done X100, X300. No, they're not the same. All right, so it is a cheap imitation for degeneration, but it is what it is. But hey, look, <clears throat> all in all, all in all, Ecliptic Claymore 3 will take 500k there. Uh, even this one, I would have taken it. Only because they're rare, I've never seen a Voyager 1. I usually see them 2 or 3. Anyways guys, let me know th your thoughts in the comment section below what you think of this method of farming. I think this is your only viable way of really getting anything of worth these days, unfortunately. And, and that's just how it is. Um, anyways, hope to catch you next one. Peace.